black and gold. Uh, I thought we played fast out there. It's just great to be back on the field with the boys, um, going through everything, playing pitch catch on the field, and uh, just being out there. So it's an exciting time of year, and we're just uh, trying to get better every day. How's your comfort level with the offense and the team and this whole setting? Yeah, I feel very comfortable. Um, I think the staff and the guys around have just done a great job uh, being in the books, studying, picking up really quickly. I feel very comfortable with it. Uh, we've kind of installed through everything, and then we're going to go through and find out what fits us as an offense, uh, me specifically, and then the rest of the quarterback room. So we're just having those ongoing conversations. Um, but it, it's been a good installation period, and uh, I'm really enjoying the offense so far. Were you, surprised, were you surprised they took Kenny with the first pick? Here? Uh, no, I, w I, re I really wasn't surprised. Um, we, we need to add to the quarterback room, and uh, and that's what we did. So uh, we're happy to have him, and I'm um, looking forward to working with him. Did they indicate to you when you signed that they might play quarterback? They didn't. Um, I knew coming into the situation, uh, just even coming from here from last year, wherever I was going to go, I was going to have to come in and compete, uh, earn the trust of my teammates, and get back onto the field uh, with hard work and my talent and just being a leader on this team. So. Uh, we didn't have those conversations, but I, I knew it was a possibility to come in wherever I would go next. How do you describe the dynamics of the quarterback room right now? It's good. Um, we got two young guys and, and, and two vets, so there's a lot of ongoing conversations. We're all learning the offense kind of for the first time uh, together. So uh, we're just pushing each other, competing, and it's been a good uh, quarterback room so far. I'm really enjoying it. Hey, Mitch, what's the record on the field? Um, Dwayne's not here. Obviously, somebody you got to know for a brief period of time. What's it like not having him here and going through those emotions? It's heartbreaking. Um, uh, I, I, th I think about him every day. Um, I only knew him for a short time, but he definitely had left an impact uh, on my life in the short time I knew him. And uh, I think about him every day uh, when I wake up, step on the field, all those things. So he's in our hearts, and uh, all we can do is go out there and honor him every day and how we live our lives. Hey Mitch, just for the record, can you go over the rotation at QB for 11 on 11? And do you read anything into that one day in? Uh, I'm just out there. I go where they tell me. Um, and, and we're just competing. So uh, whoever rolls out there first, I uh, take my reps, and we're here to build, build and get better every day. So uh, we're going to get reps with everybody at some point. So it's all about just doing your best work when you're on the field and, and competing. Mitch, how was your dinner with uh, Ben, and what did that mean to you to get together? With it was it was good. Ben, ben and his whole family was awesome. They reached out to us, really welcomed me and my wife here to the, to the city, um, and now my baby boy uh, who's here with us. So we're just excited to be here. It, it was just so nice of him to – open his house and have dinner with him and just have those conversations and get to know him and uh, everything he's done here has been obviously amazing for the franchise and just for him to allow me to get to know him pick his brain and, and talk about what it means to be a quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers it really meant a lot to me and uh, I'll just have a continuing ongoing relationship with him but it, it, was, it was cool.